and welcome to the Pathfinder Outdoor Kitchen. I'm Matt Mercer, instructor for the Pathfinder School and the founder of the Black Hat Bushcraft Channel right here on YouTube. And this afternoon we have some beautiful weather for me to get out and enjoy here in the great outdoors. High of 72, our lows started out in the 40s this morning. We got a light breeze, a little overcast, just a perfect day to get out and do some walking in the great outdoors. Now I'm out on my family's farm. On the far corner of this property, we actually have an old tenant house and I wanted to walk down here today. I haven't come and checked this thing out in many years. When I was a kid, I used to come and go inside of this old house. It was in a lot better condition then. It was still abandoned and ragged out at that time, but it's really worse for the wear at this point. So I thought I'd give you guys a quick look at this and we would use the front porch of this old house as just a change of scenery. It's a nice shady spot and a place for me to cook up a delicious lunch. Of course, a subscriber submitted recipe Anytime we have a subscriber recipe featured here on the show, of course, we're going to have a new winner to receive some free Pathfinder outdoor cooking gear. So it's going to be a great show. Change the scenery today. We're still in the great outdoors, but we're going to be cooking in an old abandoned tenant house here on the farm. I hope you guys will stick with me. We'll get cooking here in just a minute. So I know that you guys get excited about the announcement of a new winner here on Pathfinder Outdoor Kitchen. And y'all know that I love making these announcements and sharing with our subscribers and those that support us some free Pathfinder Outdoor Cooking Gear, the gear that I use and enjoy so much out here in the great outdoors. And today's winner is Travis K. Congratulations, Travis. We appreciate your submission of this awesome recipe for Cajun rice with chicken. This is a very simple recipe and a great one for when you're on the move. Maybe like today, I'm just stopping off for a short while to cook up a quick lunch and I'm gonna be on the move again very soon. So these are very simple shelf stable ingredients to cook up a hearty meal. So it's a good one again to add to your outdoor cooking recipe book. Thanks again, Travis. Let's take a look at the recipe right now. So I have everything that I need to prepare this meal today packed in this Pathfinder Molly water bottle bag. You can see that nicely embroidered logo there. This is the new earth brown color in case you've been curious about that. And there's a ton of space in this bag. I'm going to show you how I have this packed. I have my 32 ounce Pathfinder water bottle, Old Faithful there. Probably one of my most used pieces of kit. And I have my 25 ounce stainless steel cup here that of course goes with that. And down in the bottom of this bag, underneath all of that, I have an MSR ISOPRO fuel canister. This isn't one of the little ones, this is one of the bigger ones, as you can see here. And I'm gonna use that with my Pathfinder titanium stove. We have that here on the front pocket. I have a ton of stuff packed in here and still room to spare. We've got coffee, vitamin C mix, hydration salts, bottle hanger, lighter, the lid for my cup, a pack of chicken, which we're gonna use in our recipe today. And of course I have my little tiny micro stove. This is the Pathfinder titanium stove and we'll use that to cook up our meal today. So again, everything I need is right here in this kit. So we'll be using this little Pathfinder micro titanium stove. It's an awesome little stove. It packs up so nice and compact. Whenever I'm gonna install it on a fuel canister like this, I make sure that the valve is completely cut off and just quickly screw that thing onto the canister. There we go. And we're all set. And this floor is not exactly level, so I may have to play with that a little bit, but for the most part, other than lighting the stove, we're ready to start cooking. So I pulled up a little piece of wood here off the side. Check out this old nail, old blacksmith style nail. Pretty cool. Helps you date this house a little bit, maybe. And I just got me a little piece of wood here. And this should level things out. It looks nice. All right, to get things started off, I have here three quarters of a cup of instant rice, pre-measured in a Ziploc bag. And I'm just gonna add that into my stainless cup here. And on top of that rice, we're gonna add in one cup of water. I'm gonna just 
use my stainless bottle here and inside the cup we have some graduated measurement markings it's probably hard to see that and the first one is 16 ounces so i know if i go halfway up to that which is basically about where the rice sits i'm going to be just about perfect with that all right and to that rice i'm going to go ahead and add in all my seasonings now in this recipe it calls for one tablespoon of tomato powder and what i'm using is nor tomato uh, bouillon and this has a little chicken flavor in it too and that can't hurt since we're going to add chicken to this recipe it also calls for a half tablespoon of cajun seasoning and this just happens to be what i have so i'm going to use this one and i've pre-measured those seasonings into the sealed up container i also have in this container uh, pre-measured out some dehydrated bell peppers and this is stuff that i did myself at home i got a little bit of seasoning mixed on my bag here but i pre-measured out um, about two tablespoons probably one and a half tablespoons of chopped dehydrated bell pepper you could use fresh bell pepper but again i have dehydrated stuff and i also have dehydrated onions which i also did at home myself of course you can buy that stuff at the store um, minced onion it's just already dried in the spice section and it goes perfect so i've just mixed all those spices together minus the bell pepper into this one container and that's a great way when you're going on the trail to handle your spices that way you don't have to carry a bunch of different containers just pre-mix it for the recipe and when it comes time to cook you just mix it all together i'm going to go ahead and add in this bell pepper too so it can kind of be rehydrating as we cook the rice anytime i'm able to dehydrate my own vegetables and things like that i like to do that it just kind of makes the meal a little more rewarding so here's what we got down in the cup here you can see the ingredients and i'm just going to use the utensil kit to mix that in real good make sure all those spices get down in there and it already looks good with that and now we're just going to light the stove and get this cooked up very simple all right so let's get this stove fired up and this surface is not exactly perfect but i'm going to keep a close eye on it be careful with my cup and that should be good to go right there. We are officially cooking. By the way, do you have a favorite recipe that you like to enjoy when you're out on the trail or spending time in your favorite camp? If so, make sure to submit a copy of that recipe to the email address listed down below. And if I choose your recipe to be featured on one of our episodes of the Pathfinder Outdoor Kitchen, you will receive a care package coming straight from Self-Reliance Outfitters with all of the Pathfinder Outdoor cooking gear that I use to prepare your recipe. So I call this win-win. I get to enjoy awesome recipes and delicious food out in the woods, and you get free Pathfinder cooking gear. Go ahead and submit those recipes right now. All right, so I can hear this stuff boiling, and so I'm going to take it off the stove. I don't want to take a chance of spilling, and I'm just going to take the top off and take a look at my food, and I can tell I'm not far from being done here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add in my chicken. I can see that bell pepper is starting to rehydrate. It's still got a little moisture in there, so We'll just go ahead and take our chicken pack. It's pre-cooked, applewood smoked. This is a 2.6 uh, ounce pack. Easy to acquire at your local box store. And this stuff is awesome. It has a good shelf life and it just makes for easy cooking when you're hiking, camping, that type of thing. So we're just gonna add that chicken in, mix that stuff in real good. Let those flavors mesh together. That looks good. And I'm gonna put my top back on. And we'll add that right back onto the stove. All right. Right, so it's been right about 10 minutes now and i'm guessing this rice is about done i'm going to go ahead and shut my stove off here and take a look oh yeah this stuff is looking good 
this stuff looks absolutely delicious. It smells amazing with all of that spice, onion, and pepper. What I'm going to do is go ahead and get this stuff set out on my stainless plate. Of course, if it was just being practical, I would eat straight out of my bottle cup here. But presentation is important here on Pathfinder Outdoor Kitchen. All right, so let's go ahead and get this stuff plated up here. I've given it just a couple minutes to cool. Oh man, that stuff looks absolutely amazing. It smells fantastic. This is going to be a delicious meal right here. And I am excited to eat it indeed. And of course, it would not be Pathfinder Outdoor Kitchen without the official meal reveal. Oh man, I wish you guys could smell this one. We got that delicious Cajun rice with peppers, onions, chicken, and all that spice. Oh my goodness, this is a good one, you guys. I can already tell, and I cannot wait to eat. Yes, sir. So, this little board that I used to level out my stove just became my portable TV tray, so to speak. And, of course, as always here on Pathfinder Outdoor Kitchen, anytime I get ready to enjoy a delicious meal out in the beautiful, great outdoors, I have to take just a minute to say thanks. All right, well, it's time for the official taste test, and I am well ready for this one. As you noticed, I didn't get a chance to sample much today. Of course, I just had dry rice, a dehydrated ingredient, so not much to sample. So I've saved my appetite for the real deal. Here we go. Mmm. That is so much flavor. It's got a little kick to it as well. That um, Louisiana Cajun seasoning definitely gave it some kick. Mmm. This is a really good meal, and I can tell it's going to be a filling meal. With all that spice and it's kind of warming up out here, I can tell I'm going to be sweating here in a minute. Mmm. Of course, as always, I feel guilty because I haven't offered you guys a bite. Bring it in close for you. Nice bite of chicken there. Rice. Get you some of that dehydrated green pepper. Oh yeah. You know that looks good. I wish you guys could taste it for real. But, I'll be glad to do the duty for you. Mm. Good stuff. So as you guys have often heard me say, this is definitely a do-againer and a recipe that I would add into my cookbook of outdoor recipes. This one was very simple. Cook time total was about 10 minutes, and that's because all the prep time was really done at home. I just had those dry ingredients, mix it together with water, 10 minutes to cook, get the rice cooked down, that's it. Um, again, shelf-stable ingredients, and everything that I needed to cook fit right into my Pathfinder water bottle bag. So that was awesome. Really, I could come out today with nothing more than that bag, keep myself hydrated. I'd have the ability in an emergency to disinfect water. I've got fire in that bag, I had uh, rehydration, salts, and things like that. Could carry some extra calories in that zipper pocket. I had cordage in there, knife on my belt. So really, everything that I need other than shelter, I can carry in that one kit and uh, enjoy a day out without being burdened by a big pack if I choose to do so and still be able to cook up. A delicious hearty meal on the trail hmm so I'm not gonna keep sitting here eating delicious food in front of you guys while I'm out here in the great outdoors enjoying this beautiful springtime weather I have enjoyed this change of scenery today sitting here on the front porch of this old farmhouse I can imagine that in decades past some family that lived here sat right on the same porch enjoying the same fresh breeze coming across eating lunch right here on this porch potentially and it's kind of neat to sit here and just think about that um, this has been a really fun change of pace today i hope you guys have enjoyed this one i hope you'll get a chance to get out soon and try this recipe if not this one maybe one of the others that we've shared in another episode of pathfinder outdoor kitchen and if not one of our recipes hopefully you have one of your own that's a favorite that you like to prepare when you're out here in the woods or out in the field don't forget if you have a favorite recipe make sure to get that sent over to us 
us at the email address listed down below and that will get you into our data bank of recipes that I pull from each time that I come out to film an episode of Pathfinder Outdoor Kitchen. Once you're in that data bank, you stay there until the time that I may choose your recipe, in which case you become our next winner of a free care package coming straight to you from Self Reliance Outfitters with all of the Pathfinder Outdoor Kicking Gear that I use to prepare your recipes. So don't forget, submit those recipes and you just may be our next winner. So once again, from all of us here at Self Reliance Outfitters, we thank you for your time and interest and for tuning in for these episodes that we feature here on our channel. Make sure if you have not subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button and that way you can stay notified when all of our new videos come out, whether they be instructional videos from instructors or episodes of Pathfinder Outdoor Kitchen. We thank you, we appreciate you guys, and until the next episode, you guys take care. Well, it's time for my least favorite part of the Pathfinder Outdoor Kitchen, washing dishes. But it's always worth it. Always. <laughs>